Apple TV, sponsored by West Beer. And today we're talking to the cast of the devised the theatrical piece, Speak No Evil. How are you doing, guys? I'm really yeah, good, well, thank, well, you. thank you. I think he's well as well. Yeah, th thank you. <laughs> Do you mind just introducing your names to the camera? Um, I'm Serena. This is Alex. <laughs> and I'm Chris. So, tell us about the show. Um, it's a devised piece that we've written ourselves, and it's about free speech, and it's on the dictatorship in Belarus, which is Europe's final one. And it's just about the, controvers the controversies that surround that. Yeah. yeah, we've got a nice range of styles. We've got some naturalistic elements, but we've also got some physical theatre. We've got an original score uh, by our composer, and we've got some dance elements too, watch it you. Um, so yeah, it's just an exploration of free speech and uh, some themes around that. Uh, but also there's a personal tale at the centre of the story as well. Now your show said to be quite controversial, yeah. and it's a, it's a brand new show. Do you find that a little nerve-wracking? Are you um, excited? It is, it is quite nerve-wracking, because you don't know how people are going to take it, but we, we think it will be... We, we think it's going to be good. We're, we're, we're confident, confident that it's going to be well, good, yeah, well received. Yeah. <laughs> Alex, Alex agrees. Alex, Alex agrees. agrees. Yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's very exciting to be doing something new and, and controversial and different, and um, hopefully something that will make a bit of a, a bit of an impact, a bit of a buzz. Um, not yeah. necessarily, you know, in the widest well, sphere of things, but just just get people thinking a bit and something something a bit different. Yeah. So you take on a lot of different roles. Is that so? Not exactly characters, more just. Yeah, so yeah. Serena... Yeah. I'm one girl all the way through, but I have different ages. So I'm five, I'm ten, uh, there's one point where I'm 16, and then I'm also my age, which is 18, 19. Yeah. Um, but these guys have to play lots and lots of different characters. So you've got a naturalistic character, he's also my father. Yeah. Um, and then there's lots of other... Oh, um, Alex Alex is um, a pilot, a Swedish Hi. pilot, yes, Hi. Um, <laughs> as well. Oh, and, and, he's, and he's also the Belarusian government. And a policeman. Wow. A policeman. Then, so there's also there's nice nice vignettes where we do uh, a sort of protest scene. So we're all protesters, just sort of ordinary people who have decided to sort of speak out against the regime. Well, not speak out actually. Um, interestingly, this is based on a real event. Um, people would just gather together in because protest is banned in Belarus. So people would just gather together and they would uh, every every couple of minutes they would just clap. They would all time time it together to clap. Um, and the government sort of had a hard time dealing with this initially because it's not illegal to stand around and clap but eventually even that started getting clapped down so it's um, it's one of these things where you know there's lots of terrible things happening in the world and it's, it's not like you know people's people's lives on a daily basis in Belarus aren't terrible um, you know if you go there and speak to people um, you know they, they won't speak to you about the government but you know they'll they, they get on with things but at the same time there are lots of elements there that we don't want to we don't want to be preachy about it but we want yeah. people to, to question them and think about things and also how those things are reflected in our society because you know we think sometimes that we're the model of freedom of speech and democracy and so on but a woman got arrested outside 10 Downing Street for just reading the names out of dead soldiers so you know it's it's not we're not we're not trying to ram any messages down people's throats but just get people thinking about what, about these issues because they're not obvious and they're, and they're complicated and, and worthy of thought I think so if you could sum up in a sentence why Edinburgh fringe goers should see speak no evil um, it's different and it's like nothing that you will have seen before and the Fringe is all about trying something new and this is something new that I think people will enjoy. Well, thank That was you. quite a few sentences. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let it pass. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking with us thank today. You. Thank you. This has been Lauren for Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. Thank you very much. <laughs>